Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little demonstration of how home sharing works in iTunes 9. So you can see here I am on my Windows PC running uh, Windows 7, and over on uh, over just a little ways away from me I have my uh, iBook, which obviously is running a Mac. So what I'm going to show you guys is how home sharing works, uh, some of the problems you might have, but uh, also what I think my what I think and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> anyway. Let's get this one started. Okay. So obviously the first thing you need to do is have two computers, or at least two computers, running uh, iTunes 9. Um, now they next thing is they all need to be connected to the same network whether it's Wi-Fi or they're all plugged in or whatever they all need to be connected to the same you can't have you know reconnect to somebody it all has to be to the same network okay and once you have everybody running iTunes 9 and that then you need to uh, have the uh, computers all so signed into the same uh, account iTunes account so basically you know you just have to do all that now n n normally you should be ready to go right now but um, I had a little bit of problem. Um, probably you guys might or might not, but I'll go ahead and uh, let you guys know. Um, what I had was it wanted me to authorize the computers to play music, and you know that kind of and it wouldn't let me do anything. So what I ended up having to do um, was basically uh, grabbed a flash drive, copied over a uh, original iTunes song, you know that has the copy protection. I had to cop put it on a flash drive, go over to my Mac plug it in, try to open it, and then it prompts you for your password and sign in and authorize the computer. After I did that, it is no problem. But just wanted you know give you guys a heads up that you might have to end up doing that. Anyway, so once you do that and everything, if you see here on the left, it says user's music, which is the just the generic password. I mean the password, the, the name of my Mac. So basically, this would be home sharing. But once you have it hooked up, when both computers are on, all you have to do is click it. Give it just a second to load. And it's actually really quite nice. Um, you'll basically be able to not only uh, copy music from one to the other, but you can also listen to it, which uh, it's pretty cool. Now, I'm kind of doing this reverse. I don't have much music on that. I have a lot of my music on here, but it's still not bad. You can see here that I can listen to any of these songs. Like I said, I only have like, what, 50 songs on here or whatever. But I've got my songs on here. Now, if I want to bring one over, and obviously this works either way, so I'm just going to grab this song that I just downloaded, and then all I have to do is hit import, and it's actually surprisingly fast. Um, maybe takes 10 seconds. It's, it's it's pretty fast. It's a lot easier than having to mess with, uh, you know, flash drives or CDs or DVDs or whatever. It's just, as long as we hook up to the same network, obviously, depending on what network you have, it's going to change. But in general, it's pretty fast and pretty uh, handy. Anyway, guys, that was that's it. That was just a quick demonstration of uh, home sharing in iTunes 9. Uh, I like it. I'm glad they finally did it. And, uh, yeah, and obviously it works between a PC and a Mac or a Mac and a Mac or whatever kind of combination you've got. But, uh, yeah, so that's just about it, guys. Thanks for watching.